right students so welcome back uh, to the inorganic series so most of the students have been asking for this inorganic series i felt like before i start with the concepts i you need to remember some important tricks for inorganic chemistry mostly reasoning questions are given in inorganic chemistry and for that to deal the reasoning questions increasing order of acidity decreasing order of basicity how is the covalent nature how is the magnetic moment how is the bond order oxidizing power reducing power all these questions so here here i'll be giving you 24 important uh, tricks or important concept which you should remember so that you can apply in any of the question given to you right so very very important as i did in organic series where i've combined the whole textbook into three pages in the same way i've combined all the tricks of inorganic chemistry in this concept right the first uh, like i'll be giving you in sentence wise keep noting in your books and keep memorizing those i think 24 is very less than if it isn't it you can memorize and go and write in the exam right so the first important thing i'll go i'll be going otherwise keep noting in your books please first important thing you have to remember if they give you a covalent uh, character question so remember higher the charge higher the charge in the particular uh, lesson given uh, element given higher would be the covalent character so remember this first important concept covalent character so if you remember this it's easy for you to apply in the question next important thing next important thing you have to remember is bond length is inversely related to bond order remember this yes now third important thing which i would wish to discuss this, this is very important for uh, like gold number concept so you can always uh, say if you have a gold number question lower the gold number i'm just giving you the tricks lower the gold number higher is the higher is the protecting power protecting power right this is important next important concept which you should remember next uh <clears throat> like uh, in physical chemistry higher is the these are all tricks which you can apply to different questions i'm just giving you the trick how to remember higher is the critical temperature critical temperature picked up one from physical chemistry greater is the ease of liquefaction greater is the ease of liquefaction remember this right let us like be fraction let us go to the further rule next important right so entropy if i have to speak in terms of thermodynamics also entropy it decreases at surface during adsorption during adsorption remember this if they ask you a question related to entropy this is the concept which you can apply to that next important concept higher the number of unpaired electrons higher the number of unpaired electrons in the given ion in the given ion i'm just giving you the clue i'm mentioning again given ion, ion highest will be the mag magnetic moment higher will be the magnetic moment magnetic moment remember this fine yes now let us go to some more trick i said 24 i'll be giving you let us write one more so next important uh, how many did i write i have written 6 is it now let us go to the seventh one if i if a question is given to you an oxidizing power right remember oxidizing power depends on positive reduction potential okay right and it also depends on negative value of gibbs free energy gibbs free energy this is all important things which you should remember before you solve next if i have to speak in terms of general organic chemistry minus i effect groups they increase the acidity plus i effect group they decrease the acidity remember this yes done the next important concept which you should remember if uh, they ask you about uh, 
um, electronegativity equation or something like that right so electronegativity like if i have to speak um okay let me come back to the uh, this in electronegativity concept as i said yeah electronegativity of central metal atom remember all are different different concepts here electronegativity of central metal atom if it is high or it is if it is more when you compare with the order of uh, reactivity then bonded electron pair polarizes towards central metal atom correct so repulsion increases hence bond angle increases so the electronegativity of the central atom if you find a series given to you see the electronegativity of that particular one is high then what will happen automatically it will try to drag the electrons towards it when it drags the electron towards it bonded electron pole also polarizes towards the central metal atom so then what will happen the repulsion increases when repulsion increases what will happen to the bond angle bond angle also increases done yes now next concept as the size increases let us speak in terms of size and basicity now first as size increases what will happen to the electron density the electron density gets diffused over the larger surface area because the size is increased right so when the size increases what will happen the ability to donate electrons ability to donate electrons is nothing but basicity isn't it right so uh, the ability to donate electrons let us write that donate electrons okay decreases why over a large surface area hence you know uh, the, uh, that donating capacity also decreases that, remember this concept next when i have to speak about oxides right oxides so that uh, yeah, like whichever oxide you are speaking about it decreases in a period right decreases in a period when I have to uh, that uh, uh, acidity now when I speak about basicity here basicity increases in a group remember this concept I'll be applying this concept with other questions now next one twelfth concept which you should remember as I said minus I effect what does this mean this is nothing but EWG groups isn't it right. if you have EWG groups they stabilize the anion they stabilize the anion when they stabilize the anion what will happen to the acidic nature acidic nature increases remember this if awg groups are present acidic nature increases then now for isoelectronic species suppose if you if they give you a question like isoelectronic species means having same number of electrons right so if they give you a question for isoelectronic species what is the thing you should remember if they ask you to find the ionic radiate trend right ionic radiate that is rn it is always inversely related to z right ionic radiate s s larger the atomic number smaller is the ionic radii again smaller is the atomic number larger is the ionic radii remember this concept yes next thing which you we will study what is that lesser the number of okay i am relating with stability now let us turn to speak in terms of stability if they ask you which is more stable then what should you do you have to write lesser the number of lesser the number of anti-bonding electrons anti-bonding electrons higher is the stability higher is the stability remember this concept very important concept done next let us speak in terms of srp now on oxidizing uh, agent okay when they'll ask you which is a better oxidizing agent or something you need to speak in terms of srp how is that higher the srp standard reduction potential better is the oxidizing agent better is that the slack is a better if the srp is higher for that better is the oxidizing power or oxidizing agent oxidizing power right now let us go back to one more concept 16th concept what is that anything uh, ligand field strength right so what is that ligand field strength is directly related to energy of light absorbed 
then it is inversely related to 1 by wavelength that is lambda's wavelength of light absorbed remember this of light absorbed will be useful for your first chapter yes now next important thing more is a negative charge delocalized to resonance more is a stability so one more important concept if the negative charge more negative charge delocalized when is this negative charge delocalized due to resonance due to resonance then what will happen to the stability more is a stability remember this right 18th concept when they ask you in terms of isomers which will show the geometrical isomers or uh, you know optical isomerism like that remember in terms of geometrical isomerism double bonded compounds double bonded compounds show double bonded compounds show geometrical isomerism show geometrical isomerism remember this concept geometrical isomerism right 19th concept which you should remember hydration enthalpy so they'll be giving you questions based on hydration enthalpy so what will you remember in that smaller sized atom if it is smaller sized atom then this will have higher hydration enthalpy higher hydration enthalpy remember this concept right Hydra here hydration enthalpy now let us come back to 20th concept what is that 20th concept is it now i'm going to speak again in terms of hydration enthalpy what is that greater the charge we are going to relate with charge greater the charge smaller the size of the ion smaller the size of ion greater the attraction of bone pair then what will happen greater will be the hydration enthalpy greater is the hydration and these are all clues to remember if you remember these clues it is easy for you to solve any type of question given to you right next one if i have to speak about ionization potential so ionization potential increases with increase in number of electrons in the same atomic orbital so remember this what am i trying to tell you ionization potential increases with increase in number of electrons in the same atomic orbital same atomic orbital remember this right. let us do the 22nd important thing yes so 22nd this is a very important trends of your inorganic chemistry when i have to speak about atomic radii when I go from left to right in a periodic period, so this is your period. Now when I go down in a group, let us see. In a period, left to right decreases. In a group, it increases. Let us see ionization enthalpy. When I have to speak in a period, it increases. In a group, if I have to take, it decreases. Other way, isn't it? Now let us come back to electron affinity. Electron affinity in a period, left to right, it increases down it decreases if it increases it decreases next electronegativity electronegativity here increases then when i go down in this in a group if this is increasing this is decreasing metallic character if i have to say from left to right it decreases and when i go from top to bottom it increases these are the complete trends of the periodic table yes now let us come back to the 23rd trick you choose remember now e, e by r ratio we have isn't it so as e by r ratio increases polarizing power increases so remember this concept very important concept again i'm mentioning the important things once again so let us do the last 24th one right, next what should you remember uh, more lone pairs are present so the more lone pairs present then bond angle will be smaller is smaller right and you should also remember lp lp repulsions are greater than lp bp repulsions are greater than bp bp 
right so these are all your 24 important uh, concepts which will cover all acidity basicity oxidizing power reducing power uh, atomic radius you know, everything rather please keep noting in your book and keep um, memorizing it so that whichever question is given to you based on the, because you will be given most of the questions based on the order presented order increasing find the increasing order decreasing order which is the right order which is the electrode potential how do you compare between this and all these right so then all these tricks will be useful for you i'll come back and meet you again uh, with inorganic series